All right, guys, so we often talk about indicator placement within a uh, tray. And you have to first determine, well, what does the IFU of the indicator state? And what are the best practices? Um, and then you have to also determine, is this container or is this tray going into a rigid container? Or is it going to be wrapped in SMS? So, let's go over the SMS wrap first and placement in the tray. So, this is the tray, this is the sterilization container for this tray, and we're gonna see how many layers we have in here. We have one, we have two, we have three, we have four, and we have five. So there are five layers in this tray. So if this is gonna be wrapped in SMS wrap, according to the IFU of this indicator, we need to place one indicator technically in the geometric center of the tray that we can possibly place on each layer. So we have one indicator. two indicators we have three indicators we have a fourth indicator now bear with me guys I am working with one hand here. And then we have the final indicator, which is the fifth indicator. Geometric center of the tray, and then we wrap. But what if we wanna do a rigid container and this container the sterilization container is approved to go into a rigid container because you're trying to convert over to rigid containers well let's follow the IFUs for this indicator as well which states that for a rigid container for a tray that goes into a rigid container you should place an indicator on the opposite side of each corner the corners opposite corners two on each layer okay so what's that gonna look like so I'm not gonna go through the motions I'm just gonna show you what it looks like all right so now this tray is going into a container one on the opposite side opposite corners right technically diagonal it really doesn't really need to be diagonal it needs to be on the opposite corner so they could have been pointing the same way it really that really doesn't matter it's the hardest to reach so who's to say that this is harder to reach than this that again you can determine that in your facility um, but it's technically what you'll typically see is individuals place it diagonally it just needs to be opposite corners all right so you have two you have four you have six Eight, and 10 indicators in this one tray that's going to go into a rigid container. Now there's a pros and cons for every scenario, but if you're placing an item into a rigid container, the IFUs of these specific indicators state that you should place one on opposite corners of the tray, where it's determined to be the hardest or the most challenging within the tray um, and that can be in the center actually um, but our standards state that at least one should be in there so I can technically just put one in one corner on each layer 
but if you're following the IFUs of the indicator itself, if the indicator is not specifically telling you a spot, then you should be placing, you should be, if the indicator is not telling you a spot, then one is sufficient enough, but this is the practice that you see typically when going into a rigid container, and then one in the center when you're doing a wrap trace. All right, guys, very soon.